fuck. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I think to answer your question, um, I guess I don't... Kind of going off what you said a little bit, I don't really care that much. Who are you talking about, Jill? Uh, or me? You. Oh. I don't really care that much if the if it makes sense, you know. For example, the Batman thing, like it just doesn't make sense. Um, it also doesn't really make sense to have like Steve Rogers in World War II be black. I mean, there was a whole Falcon and the Winter Soldier story arc about that, where like at that time having that a black superhero for America just wouldn't make sense. Um, right, and you can have a conversation about it's too bad it didn't, but right. it still didn't. Yeah, right, yeah, but it still didn't. So I think there are characters where it just wouldn't make sense. And and the thing, yeah, with Human Torch in fan stick my big problem with it is it's like, yeah, but when you have literally his sister, I mean, not that this can't exist, because I know it does, but when his sister is like a white girl like Sue Storm was mm -hmm. it's kind of like okay right you know another thing that I have a problem with is like you know going off of my aerial example where like let's say we make her black even though like her skin color doesn't have a whole lot to do with her story if we did the same exact thing to Princess Tiana, yeah. who, being black, doesn't have a whole ton to do with her story except for her living in New, or New Orleans and having to work for a living, which, you know, a lot of white people have to do, too. Right. If you made that character white, there would be an outrage. Well, yeah, but the, the, the reasoning is always that that's because there's more white characters in fiction. So you'd be taking away from the few that exist that aren't. So However, basically, it's I'd about, argue there's tons that aren't now. For, mm. So really, it's about representation rather than actually having a character be a different race for an actual reason. When people defend it, yes. When it's good casting, like Zoe Kravitz, no. That's my opinion. You right. know what I mean? Like, when people go to bat for it, when you get down into their actual reasoning, it almost always comes down to, but we need representation. Right. And it almost never comes down to what's good for the story mm -hmm. or like anything like that. Now, to be fair, you, you shouldn't have to be white to be good for the story either. But like if you just cast someone so you can be like, look, we have a black lead, mm -hmm. which I've seen. There are movies that do that. Right. I mean, there's a whole genre of films called black exploitation. Like that's like the sub genre. Right. And they do that specifically to make money off of black communities. It's been a thing for decades. Mm -hmm. If you're doing that. Which I would argue that that's a lot of... I will shut up in a second, Jill. I'd argue that's a lot of what Disney does for that. their casting is exploit minority communities by being like, look, we care about you. And you see it. They cut them out of China. Right. If they didn't do that, fine. You'd have a leg to stand up, but you don't. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they'll put a gay kiss in, cut it out for China. They'll put a black person in, minimize them on the on the poster for China. You yeah, can't tell really me they care. they don't care about these communities. They just care about they money. They care for the face, yeah. They care for their money. Mm -hmm. Alright. My, yes, so many guests. Have you made up your mind, dear? I'm gonna do this. This is an annoying part. No, I'll give it back to you. Okay. I'll do anything if I flounder, but I need a proof of a pizza that I can trust you. For you said that we could give a flounder, or oh, save a flounder if I gave you the trident. Well, approve it. But of course, see my puss. What? <laughs> what? Her puss, see. <laughs> Ariel! He wasn't in the human world. I knew something was a fish here. Oh, I didn't know who was talking. There I it. do uh, have it. If you want your precious flounder back, I will have to eat him first. Daughter, daughter, daughter. So, why did we trust her? Why can't she just use the trident to kill her? That's a good point. And then take flat. Whoa. Also, why does it matter? He's just a fish who has, like, clearly a stutter problem. It's her best friend. Would you leave <laughs> mate to the fish hooks? I don't know if he was a fish like that. If I it saved like. the world, yeah. Ha 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 ha! Mine at last! Now I'm a ruler of all of the seas, so I can eat as much as I want! Man, that fish is gonna get like a supporting role in the. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it, it's a certain sitcom that we used to watch. That 
flounder go? <laughs> but of course, I'm feeling a generous. And then she stabs right through him. <laughs> Which reminds me, uh, you always wanted to see uh, the worlds, uh, didn't you? Well, uh, dear, I know just the world to send you to, the world of food. <laughs> Unfortunately, this will be a one-way trip and you'll get fat. Ew. Fat characters, though, I think we can all agree are bad. Yeah, bad. Written out of movies every yeah, time. Yeah, get rid of them. I need more. Yeah, if, if they want more representation, how come they don't make a plus-size uh, Disney princess? Hmm? That's a good point, well, Because, like, I couldn't, like, touch my son. I mean, I uh, couldn't take I mean, my son to that. Yeah. The sea and it? all of its denizens will gravel for me. Because it's a bad example for my son. He might, like, eat the entire theater. Oh, God. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a summer catamari? Like, the video game? I, oh, no, I mean calamari. <laughs> it's squid, I think. Oh. Like, get it? Because she has tentacles. And I get she it. likes food. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you know the Xbox game, uh, Tie the Tasmanian something? Yeah, Taz Tie the Tasmanian Tiger. Yeah, is that a good game? Uh, I don't know anything about it. Okay. Was that an Xbox exclusive? That I don't know either. I don't think it was. Okay. I just saw it at the other store the other day. I was like, what is this? In real life, I'm pretty sure Tasmanian Tigers have gone extinct. Have they? Mm-hmm. Really? That was all I could do. Get ready for this. Why are there zits on this rock? Uh. Is it supposed to be like pizza? Body positivity. Oh, I am, you are standing on my pizza. Don't get your dirty shoes on my pepperoni. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember doing this in Jill and my Let's Play. Or like playthrough. Well, that's because you guys skipped this part. Did we? <clears throat> yeah, you, we did. you just completely skipped this level. Well, I think we might not have done this one specifically. Oh. I don't think we finished this, this won't level. This be probably. pretty. Because what we did was we did Winnie the Pooh, and then we hit fought Riku, and then we started Atlantica, and then we never finished Atlantica because you were like, oh, Nate's back from his vacation. Yeah, the fifth one of the year. Well, it's not my fault. I like tra traveling. So I, I, It I, is your fault, though. You're the one who likes it. <laughs> okay. So I don't think we got to this part. <laughs> what would you do if you went bankrupt? Would you still travel? No. Oh, okay. If I went bankrupt? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wondering if you would still take the state's money and travel. Does the state give you money if you go bankrupt? <laughs> I look at you immediately are intrigued by the like, prospect of ooh. going bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> do you get to keep your home? <laughs> no! That's part of going bankrupt. They take it, usually. Well, he's where, not keeping his home anyway. He's going to go live, live with his mother-in-law, so he That's could That's true. Go you should go bankrupt right now so that you can lose the home. <laughs> Well, where, where do the where do the people live that go bankrupt? Uh, they're Nowhere. Homeless. Homeless. Oh. Yeah. That sucks. They live in shelters. They should give. They should make like a bankrupt housing. So That's that shelter. Like, so bankrupt people can go live in these homes. So I'm gonna be honest, Nate. You might want to change political parties if you believe that. Why? Because the the current. Uh, never mind. All right. I'm just saying that, like, certain people that I know of uh, have vote against the, what you just suggested all the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, your idea for housing? I don't actually think they should make bankrupt housing. Right, yeah, how dare they give homes to those well, people? Well, I know, like, people... they're worthless. Ariel this does sucks nothing. so bad. What sucks about this is that it takes so oh, many... Oh, hey, you got something. I like when you call in Ariel and she just like headbutts Whoa. with a tentacle. What? Did you see me choke her? Yeah, yeah I did. That her. was Your hot. Oh, that I was love hot. That. Oh, yeah. And Sora unzips his pants with his, <laughs> her head's hanging there. She's laying there like, oh, and she just hears. What the hell? She's like, oh no. <laughs> Gotta get up. Her mouth is too big. It'd be like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Well, that, that what? I mean, that's assuming that Sora doesn't have that large of a thing. He Which doesn't. he does. I I would know. All right, she has too many high carbs. High carbs? She's too <laughs> high on carbs. Look at her. <laughs> I feel like no matter what I said, it was correct. Okay. <laughs> so usually by breaking cards, that's how you are able to get that zero, right? Right. But I'm not Ooh. kidding. Yet. 
one time I watched a Ooh. BuzzFeed video where they turned all of these girls into Disney characters, and there was one fat girl on the team, and they made her Ursula. Wow. And I thought That's it was really <laughs> offensive. Really? Actually pretty fucked up. Yeah, it was pretty fucked up. <laughs> huh. Well, who else are they going to make her? They could have made her anybody. Who? They could have made her the evil queen. They could have made her Ariel. They could have made her... Cinderella, they could have made her anyone. But Literally there's, one, any there's one small problem, one large problem with that. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I hate oh, no. this move so oh, no. much. I what hate this move. Oh Cyclops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is like the lamest boss fight of all time. Do you know lame is now an ableist term? Is it? I don't know. Yeah, it is actually because it oh. means that people can't walk and you can walk, so you saying that is like saying the N word to people who can't walk. <laughs> what? <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this right now. I might need to get more cards, honestly. Which means you probably need to level up. Yes. So, the one nice thing about this game, I will say actually, that I think does better than any of the other games is that you can actually counter the enemy moves. So if in the original game, if you got caught in Ursula's Cyclops beam, you're screwed. But in this one, you can actually just break it to stop the move. Yes. I think that's pretty nice, actually. I do, too. One big problem with this game is that it like constantly makes you reload because you never have enough cards. Right. Ursula, is there any world where you'd be into that? <laughs> into what? Ursula. <laughs> oh, uh, no, no. Actually, when Ursula changes into that woman, yeah. What woman? The, like, Vanessa? Uh, the black-haired woman. Yeah, Why do you Vanessa. keep hitting my chair, Jill? I wasn't trying to, I'm Like, sorry. it's like you have some kind of, like, issue over there with, like, keeping your limbs from flailing all over, and I I'm trying I not to, to use I'm sorry. ableist language here. <laughs> Anyway, Nate would be into the human version of Ursula. Yeah, with Can Vanessa. You, like, could you look up like a picture? Yeah. You, you don't remember this? Like. You saw I don't, a picture of her yesterday. I don't right? remember. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll look up a picture. Sorry, look up like Rule 34. Oh, she's hot. Yeah. Why doesn't she just stay like that? Uh, I don't know. She was using her magic to make herself look like that. I don't know why she doesn't stay like that at all. Let me hit you! See, she's in that drawing that you sent me yesterday of the little mermaid. Oh, I didn't know that was her. Yeah, that's her. I didn't remember. So she's almost down to her last bar of health. I honestly think I need to get more cards. Okay. Well, we'll see. Okay, uh... Yep, use it, use it, use it, use no, it. No, no, not yet. We have oh. to wait for her to do something. Okay, okay. She has to use one of her cards. Okay, got it. Now! Nice! And she's like, oh, And Sora's like, oh yeah, and now she drops her head, Sora drops his nice. pants. Nice. And we get started. And what this game should be. Honestly, there's some people out there that would be really into that move. There are, actually. like, a lot of, like, in... There's a lot of Ursula Rule 34. I would imagine. <laughs> I've seen it when looking up The Little Mermaid. I mean, when looking at Disney. Art. Right, you, when you accidentally pick the wrong movie. <laughs> right. And by wrong movie, I mean the right movie. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> Jill's allergic to bullshit bosses. We have, like... Sorry about that. COVID patient 101 over here. Okay, Nate, we can't joke about that. I have bad allergies. It's like three years removed from this. YouTube doesn't care anymore. That's true. It doesn't exist anymore. Come on, come on, do something. No. No, that's a level eight. Whatever, let's just do this. Oh, you got something. You got the thing. Use it, use it, use it. Use it now. Nice. <sighs> nice. Almost there. He's, you're almost there. Oh nice. my gosh, I can't Yay. believe it. Nice. I was so worried. <laughs> I honestly thought I wasn't going to do it. It's just stuck on something, Julie. Sorry. <sighs> that sucked. So here's what I would like to do. Okay. I would like for us to beat this world and beat the thing in between it so that we can get to the point where I can level up. Because I will be able to get more XP in the next world. 
Okay, so I'll take a few minutes. That sounds good. Please, I don't to be a bad Ariel. That old witch tricked me. Why do you get to play every voice? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Flounder, as long as you're safe for nothing else that matters. Okay, Nate's going to be Flounder. Okay. <laughs> now, like the dumb the... character. <laughs> Wait, to be fair, I only ever voice Sora and the girl characters, and there's not very many well, women That's all in this of game. them. Okay, next now, one. Now, all we have to do is return to the trident, and everything will be okay. But what if uh, the king uh, finds out uh, you're the one who took his calzone in the first place? Uh, I'll uh, be grounded forever. She's like, why do I... Or, I don't get all the characters, I just play all the characters. <laughs> Ariel, where Ariel? Where are you, girl? If uh, you can hear me, please answer. I'm yelling to you from the cloaca. It's a Sebastian. He came all this way to find my cloaca. <laughs> yup, yup, <laughs> and when he does, you're gonna get it, <laughs> but not from him, from me. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, you know, uh, why don't you just show us your cloaca right now? We'll occupy it before Sebastian can. She and said, "Why don't you say the sea witch stole the trident since you wouldn't actually say the line?" And you got it back Jill, this is all by yourself. Then there's no way to get in trouble. Well, if you hadn't clicked it so fast, I could have read it too. Well, you were taking forever, <laughs> okay. and Nate has to leave soon for his. You like, just clicked it again. I didn't even get to read thing. that line. She was like, "I had the same idea." <laughs> but I can't do that. I don't want to get in trouble, but I can't lie not about this. I know I haven't made the best decisions lately. Yeah, and you should also go to speech therapy because your mouth <laughs> movements don't even match your talking. It was a mistake to take the trident. But I made that mistake because I wanted to help you, Flounder. I am proud of that. Like how Flounder just looks over the blank face. Flounder has a little bit of a learning issue. Okay. Blaming is someone else that would mean giving those feelings up. So I'm going to tell the truth. She's right, Sora. Honesty is the best policy. <laughs> hey, I was uh, just a kitten. Uh, great, and now I'm the one in hot water. <laughs> no one, them. <laughs> Next right. time you have lines, I'm going to skip them before you can read them. Literally, you were taking forever. No, I wasn't. You I just was wouldn't just reading shut them. up. You were being. <laughs> You were, you honestly, you were channeling your inner wham and woman moment. Don't be mean to me or I'll tickle you. I'm gonna hurt your I'll hand you if, if you keep shoving it back. I'll tickle you. And I'll hurt your hand. No one will believe you're the victim. No one, nobody will believe you're the victim. No one will believe you? No one will believe you. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now that the assault is complete. All right. Do, 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 do. No, you're Riku. No, what are you doing here? Not happy to see me? Let me know if I'm getting in the way. You know, of something that's more important. Huh? I didn't mean that. <laughs> Spare the excuses. I bet that you had all but forgotten about me. Are you crazy? Come on, I came all this way looking for you. But you're not anymore, right? Now it's only Namine that you're looking for. You don't care about me, just like you never cared at all about her feelings. Namine's? <laughs> I knew it. Never even gave it a thought, did you? Just cause you want to see Namine, sorry, doesn't go both ways. Tell you the truth, Namine doesn't even want to look at your face. Why not? You should ask your memories. Why Namine disappeared from the islands. Remember that, and you'd know. Did I... Did I do something? I is it my fault? Riku. Go home, Sora. I'll care for Namine. Anyone who goes near her goes through me. 
Uh, what's, what's wrong with you? We're supposed to be friends. Please, Sora. Since when have you ever cared about me? Namine's not the only one who's sick of looking at you. So am I. <laughs> Riku, stop it! I like how Riku gets angry when you even look at someone else. Hey. Like, Sora, like, looks over this. and Sorry. Riku's just, just like, between your chairs. You have other friends? I know, right? He's like the most petty person of all time. In I know. Well, he got mad at Sora in the first game because Sora had friends. Like, Sora's hanging out with, uh, Donald and Goofy. He's like, what? You hate me? Basically, that was pretty much the uh, logic. Well, he was also being corrupted by darkness. <laughs> no, it doesn't count. Oh, okay. That's not a thing. You should like try to be stronger willed, I guess. Yeah. I shouldn't have done that there. No, that was kind of a waste, but whatever. I wasn't thinking about it. I was thinking about Jill's point. Oh, got it. What's your thoughts on um, people who aren't slaves, they are paid, but they're basically paid to do the same thing. So here's an example. After slavery was ended in the United States, a lot of oh jeez, a lot of uh, a lot of like people in the black community couldn't really get jobs or other stuff like that. So they basically got jobs working as like house servants and stuff like that. They still got paid, but they were basically doing the same thing. They were like living in these homes and doing all this stuff. Right. Come on. Um, but at least they got to go places. That's true. Yeah, and they, they still got paid, but basically everything else about them was the same. Uh, I guess I don't really have a huge opinion. They could quit their job at any time. They couldn't because they were trapped in poverty. Right, like they, they wouldn't be able to get anything else. No, but I mean they had that option because they still had freedom. They had the option if they really wanted to... Even though die. poverty was pro a, a problem, they had the option to quit that job and try to find, you know, something else. They had the option to go to a different city. You know, they had the option to go places of their own volition instead of just being at their master's beck and call. Because, like, when they, when they were slaves, they weren't allowed to go anywhere or really do anything or live a life other than what the slave owner told them to do, you know? Yeah. So when they had freedom, at least they had uh, a life they could choose to do of their own volition. Right. I understand what you're saying, but however, if you read, like, any American books from that time period, you know that they also don't. Well, yeah. Because they travel and they have the same exact opportunities, I need to reload real quick, available. Mm -hmm. Like, it's 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 no better. It's not like there's competition between farmers. There yeah, wasn't. And, and like a lot of those people couldn't afford to even live in their own houses. Mm -hmm. So like if they were to leave and try doing something else, they just wouldn't have a home. Yeah. And they want to have a job because, well, they want to have a job in the south. In the, the north they might be able to, but... Uh, a lot of business owners just wouldn't hire them. Mm -hmm. Because even though technically slavery wasn't legal, that didn't stop people from being racist because there was no civil rights laws at the time. Mm -hmm. Right, just no, just you couldn't own slaves anymore. Right. So, yeah, so basically the only jobs they could get were basically what they were doing before. It's just this time now they were paid. So you're saying they might as well have kept slavery. Did the government have to pay every <laughs> farmer back for the money that they spent on their slaves? I don't think so. Oh, you mean like when they... When they bought them originally. Like when they bought originally their slaves, did the government have to pay them back or were they just mad that they were out with like a bunch of money? Actually, now that you mention it, I think the... I think some people got money back for that. Would you say they got reparations? I think so. No, I, I actually think so. Now, at the top of my head, I kind of vaguely remember the government providing some sort of payment as like a, hey, you lost your slaves, we understand this was a big source of revenue, here's some money. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Well, I, I could be like wrong about that. that. Like I said, it's just something off the top of my head. People were already outraged. Well, yeah, I mean... That's why I think they kind of had to do that, otherwise they'd be even more outraged. Right, they had to have some sort of... 
sorry type of thing oh, you, to get them back into the union. Like a silver lining? Yeah. Well, the, the getting them back into the union was, we kicked your ass. <laughs> right. Get your ass back in here. <laughs> or we'll do it again. Right. And we'll, like, kill a ton of your men, because that's what we did. Right. I mean, it's not like we just, like, beat them in a game of chess, and there was, like, nothing to lose. Right. Okay, like, you gotta stop, man. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Well, what sucks is, I hate how they have zero cards. Like, the enemy bosses should not have Let me heal, zeros. let me heal, let me heal, let me heal. So, if the Confederates had won, would they be their own country, or would slavery just still be around in Slavery? America? Slavery? Okay, just do it. Oh. Nice, nice. Whoa, wait, he's like pushing you around. Uh, I think if they won, they would be their own country. Interesting. So they'd be like, Slave Erica. Uh, that what? would be their name. Yeah. Uh, they would be actually Czechoslovakia. <laughs> <laughs> they had it all planned out. Oh, God, it was pretty yeah. messed up. That's pretty funny. We're just gonna like brute force the ending of this because I can't deal with this long term. Yeah. Oh, he's almost dead! That, like, destroyed Is him! He? Yeah, look at that! He's almost dead! He's almost what? Dead! He's almost dead! <laughs> almost dead! Nice! Sorry, I didn't mean to pull the board. You beat oh. Raikou. So anyways, yeah. you didn't share what your opinion on it, like... Like... And on the next episode! <laughs> okay. Because... What you pulled it! I'm sorry, can you move a little more towards me? I can't anymore because I touch your chair and you get mad at me. I was oh, nice. never you got mad arrow. at you. Nate, have I ever gotten mad at Jill ever? Never once. No, exactly. Never been a thing. Yeah, exactly. Should we raise our CP? Yeah. Okay. In the words of Mega Man Battle Network, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, Riku, please wait! Rick Poo. Do 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 do. We We'd be out. off going after Riku. Oh, yuck! <laughs> what could have happened to make Riku talk like that? He took forever. He didn't skip his dialogue. He didn't take that long, and I was laughing. What is with you? You're such a poor sport. Well, because I don't like it when you skip my dialogue. Everybody in the Let's Play channel, they always comment, "What a poor sport." It's true. I'm the, I'm the Let's Play comments. Uh, <laughs> they're all just Nate's throwaways. <laughs> I hate Jill. Why are we back in at Poopica? Well, I was just going to try and go up one floor so I could start the next world and then Nate could leave so we oh. could like get him out of our presence. Good riddance. I want to get out of here too, so that makes sense. Riku, where are you? Sora? Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Riku... What happened? Hmm... Sure was strange. Almost like Ansem was back, controlling Riku again. But we got rid of Ansem for good. Then I wonder what is wrong with Riku? Hold on! The kid! If he's with Riku, he might be in danger. Sora? I know. You're thinking Riku isn't your friend. But that's just not true. You sure? Well, I know he said some awful things to you back there. But you gotta remember, we are in Castle Oblivion. Why folks lose their memory here a little bit at a time. Riku's probably just forgotten that the two of you were such close friends, that's all. So he just forgot? My guess is that's so. But Sora, instead of being sad, we have to figure out a way to help Riku get his memory back. If we all work together, why, we're sure to get you through this. No need to mow. Jiminy's right. You shouldn't push your friends away. Yeah. Okay. Sarah, 
Do you remember our very first promise? Huh? Always smile. smile. That was the promise we made to each other the first time we met. We promised to never forget to keep smiling. <laughs> You're right. You telling T he's stinky? I told him he sucks. That makes sense. I said, I'm Jay, you old hag, and your son smells like boogers. <laughs> That's what I said to him. What do you think about that, Jill? Sounds like uh, quite the statement. That's it? That's it. Okay, are we going to pick what the next world is? Sure, it's nice to have the happy Sora back. Try not Try to get, get too excited, excited Sora. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's see. Can I pick the world? We have Neverland. Yeah, you, we just, we can't pick 100 Acre Wood yet. I want to pick Neverland. Okay, that's what I was going to pick, actually. That's what I was going to pick, too. Really? Look, look how they show five cards, but there was only three. There was only four cards. That's a continuity error. Uh, Why are we even playing this game? It contradicts itself. Well, I had a continuity error, because I can't <laughs> okay. count. Also, this world, I'm being serious, I genuinely think is better in Chain of Memories. This is one of the few. How? Because it actually feels like a ship. You're going through different rooms in a ship. Oh, yeah. Jill, you're Sora. Oh, sorry. Where are we now? We have to say this whole, all the voices in a pirate voice for this one. Okay. <clears throat> Yarry, the floor is kind of unsteady. I can hear the ocean. Yeah. Is that Star Ocean reference? It was. Is that a JoJo reference? I know. Arr, we must be inside the shipper. Arr, well, we'd better find a way out there. But which way should we go? Can it's I be goofy? Yeah, you could be goofy. Okay. I'll be Donald. Whack! Whack! That's, that's, that's Donald's. Whack, Arr! Sorry. Arr, who are you, Skellywag? Wait, I'll be Tinkerbell. <laughs> I'm thick and sexy. Oh, I thought I was the girl character. <laughs> oh, sorry. You could be uh, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Maybe she's a train to help us. That was his pirate voice. Okay, God. <laughs> Dude, Tinkerbell is so hot. She's like, look at her undies. Looks you like you're a right. You can see high. her panties there. I genuinely, like, if there were. That's one of the fictional characters I would. Get with. You if would... I could be the same size. Oh, got it. Okay. Mine would be Doofy. Doofy? Is that like Goofy's like cousin oh, with a like, learning <laughs> issue? That was mean. What? That was mean? Because yeah. <laughs> my cousin has learning issues and his name is Doofy. Your cousin has a terminal illness and he collects DVDs. I don't know which of those is the terminal illness. Having the terminal illness or collecting DVDs? Ouch. <laughs> What, Jill? I said, R. R. Okay, let's be done. I can level up in, okay. in Peter Pan's 